3510. Last few games I've been about missing stuff. It's always a crucial missing element that I'm I'm just not quite grabbing. Grab the poison pawn. Surprised they brought the bishop. Thought they brought the queen down. Looking for a nice little touch here with the pawn. If they were thinking quick, I think they would have gone and castled. I would have got away with that pawn push because it's a longer game the opponent obviously is thinking so they'll be maneuvering out of that little situation quick sharp oh well they've done a similar type thing because if I did push here my knight won't be able to take now so that's out the window let's castle And let's see what the bishop wants to do. Remember the rapid Swiss tournament that I was in and I pushed my pawns chasing the bishop around. When we did the evaluation afterwards we found out we were winning for the majority of the game. It's just I played one move wrong which was much later on. Uh, no impact towards attacking the bishop. I thought I'd actually made a mistake because he then opened up the pawns in front of my king But we were still winning the evaluation battle was crazy for us So I'm going to continue using this type of uh, maneuver and Just make sure Now he's got like a two-on-one type situation knight pawn pawn there could open up our pawn, open up the dark square bishop. I was going to push onto his knight, but I'll save that. He might be brave and take the pawn, opening up the pawns around my area, my king area. But yeah, little things like that. I thought I was doing it wrong. I did it wrong. There was some th small thing much later on where I was trying to bring my knights across to defend my king area when I didn't need to do that at all. So he's still protecting this little sort of fork th thing that we can put onto this uh, bishop and knight. Surprised he's not moved them yet. One of them needs to move I think because we've got enough haven't we? Knight and the rook. He's just got the rook there. He's got the bishop so if we push the bishop takes, knight takes so it kind of loses out there so he's got to move one of these the knight or the bishop that's what i think anyway unless there's a secret count that i don't know about
Yes, he has to move one of them. Um, we could still attack the knight. Knight goes back, attacks the pawn. Could attack the knight with this pawn, further advancing it. But it is our king's pawn, isn't it? But we do have the dark square bishop defending, but maybe the dark square bishop's coming to defend here. Is that where it gets lame, bringing the bishop here to defend the knight, when really we don't have a problem doubling the pawns up? Going to x-ray through to his queen. And it's doing the other job of actually getting my pieces around my king area as well. Although the evaluation showed I didn't need to bother about any of that. I needed to mobilise my pieces sent more centrally, the rooks. Um, it seemed to think that the position that we had in the centre was okay, quite, quite good for us. Could bring the bishop back now. Or keep the um, pin. Keep the pin for now. Because an, it's an annoying position, so I think the queen's going to come off the back now. Maybe it doesn't want to double its pawns up in front of its own king. I'm starting to feel a little bit horse-ish type thing though. It's, it's way too much talking. <clears throat> I'm picture him taking the knight actually I'm just going to pre pre move that doesn't move the queen keeps the queen still on the pin so mindful of that could push our pawn onto the knight the pawn takes bishop still got the pin onto the king queen sorry but let's have a look at why he's moved that queen in front of the rook Supporting the dark square bishop, yes, no, not really. Is he looking to attack this pawn? Is he is his bishop going to take? Not really. Taking it away from being opposite our queen. Can't see anything major. Probably happy just attacking the bishop. Bishop takes, then we double. Still liking this pawn push here. Pawn takes. Don't have to take actually. Uh, knight can go here. Which would not be a good thing, I suppose, because if his knight goes there, he can start dancing around here, attacking this pawn. I think we're going to leave that. I'm going to attack the bishop and see what this plan was for his queen I'm noticing his king is looking very relaxed and chilled over in the corner there. He's not feeling any pressure whatsoever at the moment. I think we need to wake it up and make it realise it is still in the game. Um, I'm tempted to just push again. Gives him this diagonal. He's attacking this pawn here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm tempted to just do that. So we've got both sides doing that now. Uh, da, 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 da. Queen's on the pawn. Right, what are my knights doing? We've given him loads of space. We could push the pawn, like we said now, onto the knight. 
So I'm going to push onto the knight now because we've still got the annoying pin from our bishop onto his queen. But like a cornered cat, as I always say, the opponents seem to find a way out. Yeah, so they're going to go searching now for a higher piece that they can go and attack, like my queen. Can a piece of theirs attack my queen? Bishop? Not yet. His bishop can put a check on our king. Our king's then out of place. His queen can't come down. Uh, our knight can take his bishop for free. It looks like. Is he looking at his queen taking the pawn? I don't think so. I'm going to grab. Yeah, he's just blasting away now. Um... We could um, we could attack the queen, his bishop takes, pawn takes, we've still got the pin through onto his queen. I think he's wanting us to actually take his knight so that then, well if we take his knight with the pawn, his queen's under pressure from the rook, maybe the queen does take queen takes, rook takes, rook takes and then he takes our knight so I don't really want him having anything if we go here bishop takes, pawn takes I'm gonna have to go with that I think, yep I don't think I've missed anything but <sighs> Even when I've done the big, it's gone, it's moving very quick. Let's capture, as we said, we've still got the annoying pin. And he's still, he's attacking our, like I said, cornered cat, they just go crazy. So if we did capture this pawn, his queen can come off of the pin. And it, she, he's attacking our knight. Mm, for free. Yeah, he's, they found a way, didn't they? Could move my knight here out of the way because I'm over there I'm blocking if I go there and attack his queen comes down and attacks the knight so gets the knight back so we're trying to avoid then his pawn's gonna drop down again okay his pawn's gonna attack again he's trying to get the equal even exchange but currently at the minute he's still a piece down a minor piece a bishop down So maybe I don't need to worry so much about losing the piece now because we're... Oh, no, he's messing everything up. Cornered cat. He doesn't want to give it up. But he's... Yeah, okay, so now he's having to give it up. Crikey. I don't even have to take with that. I could take with the bishop. Is it better taking with the bishop or the pawn? For, yeah, I think taking better with the bishop because his pawn's going to push down onto the bishop. So there's two pa two pawns here at the minute. They've got no sort of real protection on. And now they have. This queen's got a diagonal. Where's my king? Right in front of that area. Mobilize this knight to do something. Attacking this pawn. Or capturing this pawn first. What am I missing? I've got two minor pieces up now from that exchange which went absolutely crazy. And it's those when I've <clears throat> when I've missed these things, it's I'm then overworking. You know, I'm doing some other fancy maneuvers or other calculations that I think are the right right moves to make. And then when I've sat back and looked at it and I'm I'm going but why didn't you just do that move? I'm trying to find that in this. 
I don't think we've done too bad so far. But there's nothing solid as far as I can see. So my knight is on the rim here. My queen hasn't even got out of the blocks yet. This hasn't got any protection on this pawn. It's a, is he going to sacrifice? What's the deal with the rook? I'm going to attack the pawn, but I'm just wanted to get the knight off the rim. If I can dance it around here towards my king area, I know I keep. I, I, I'm always mindful. My king is there all on its own, and he could, oh, maneuver. There's nothing else to take. I could take this pawn, but then I'm hiding behind my rook, aren't I? My rook is sort of pinned to the knight then. Or I could take the, take the pawn with the rook, but then he takes the knight. Yeah, that, that don't look good. Okay, I'm going to pin my rook to the knight. He's moved. Move dead quick, he's got something sewn up. I've, I've missed something. I've missed something. I, I, I think I've missed some. Uh, da, 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 da. Queen coming here, facing the king. protecting my king don't want one of his rooks going his king probably can come here though and then his rook comes here then he's behind the pawn I can't do anything with these this pawn I can push try and push this pawn up but you just drop it um, what's the situation am I looking to squeeze my queen here then Squeeze it in a bit, get to here, but there's nothing definite because he's got his queen there. I think my, I, I need my minor piece over into this um, area. So I don't think these pieces can do it by themselves. Could start pushing pawns and stuff. Queen, queen, queen's got a safe haven here. But he doesn't want to move it from there because of this queen checkmate thing. I think his king's coming here though. So then his rook gets into the game here. Uh, I need to push this pawn to get my knight safe. Oh, that's too many moves. It's so many moves. It takes too long. So I want my knight to go. That's one, two, three, four. Four moves to get to that position there. The rook, rook, um, sacrifices itself, bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes, that ain't gonna happen but it's a nice picture to see. Four moves away to get my knight over there. And there's no guarantees I'll be able to get that off because it depends on what the opponent wants to do if they start attacking again like they just did, you know, like a cornered cat. Mm -hmm. I think we can still do this pawn move here. If we did the pawn move, he pushes down, pawn takes. Rook takes, he's targeting this pawn. Would we have enough time to push here and then this pawn's weak? Oh, 
let's go for that. We still have the idea of the knight moving, but maybe I don't think it's going to work now, is it? Because if he's moved that and he's got this rook protecting this square, may have to change the strategy. Now, one of the missed things is a rook landing here. So he's going for it. His rook does take. Do I need? I don't need to take it. I could go here. I could push up. But then he pushes down, then it blocks my. And he pushes down, then my knight definitely isn't going anywhere. I'm going to capture. I can't have. I genuinely don't think I can keep my. I'm going to go here with the knight. Knight is currently protecting the pawn, but I really want it to get it over there, but it's not going to happen. The attempt will be good enough, I think. Now we've got an open file here for the rook so you can see I'm trying to change the strategy a bit I'm still mindful getting my knight across I think might help with putting pressure over there and trying to get some exchanges off but his queen's doing a good job he's gone back so in order to and he knows I need to get him off of that line if I go here with my pawn though, that would be a nice outpost for the knight to jump onto to get to this position. Because the queen is currently eyeing up this diagonal. So I can get my knight here and get to the position that I wanted. <sighs> Although he can push his pawn down. So if he pushes his pawn down, if I jump to my knight to here, if he takes the pawn, then my knight can still jump to here with a check on his king. So we're going to go with that. We've got a fork on the pawn and the rook at the moment. And we can still do the, because we did say that the rook would probably do an exchange if the knight did jump into this square. But the king can always come to this square here. So if the king moved to that square, do we have one of those magical knight type things? Oh, there's a lovely position that we've got here. That missed thing, good job I was talking. If I go like this, there's a fork with a, a measly pawn. There's a fork with the pawn. I can do that. I was just thinking, can his queen exchange with the bishop? Yes. Oh, that's got to be juicy. That's got to be. Oh, lovely. At last, I didn't miss one. Well, fingers crossed. His queen's not going to exchange down here. His rook is not going to take the knight because the queen is under pressure. So the queen has to move. In essence, does it move across here? Either way, the rook is going. Oh, that's an interesting one. Not sure if we're probably facing a resignation here or not. We've built the pieces up quite nicely, especially. I think it was it was the starting was the X-ray from the bishop onto the queen through the through to the knight. But I'm not sure if the opponent had to give up all of the other pieces of material that they had because they did come out really scratching and biting like a cornered cat, proper style, um, and. After all of that, they ended up like two minor pieces down. 
and there probably just needed to be one minor piece down and maybe just improve the position or something so that is something that I've got to keep in my mental roller decks when I feel like a cornered cat um, sometimes you have to resign yourself to the fact that yes okay you've lost that piece but how can you improve your position yeah and you don't have to go and take a piece off the board or try and get a piece off the board if it's going to make your um, situation worse we do have a discover check now with the rook but his queen is looking at taking the rook off the board but before we do that is there a better move a computer what would the computer do would it go okay let's push this pawn because we've got the knight protecting this area the bishop protecting that area and the queen so if we push this pawn up it's on his rook his rook just drops here though then he's got like three on there but if his rook drops there then our queen can take this pawn with a check on his king check on his king and his rook's not going to go in front because that would be checkmate so his king oh, that would be checkmate never mind checkmate because queen goes here king can't go anywhere it can't go there and it can't go there so if we pushed I think he's probably going to have to exchange the rook so the rook takes knight takes with a check on the king king moves here queen can't take because he's got the queen there mm. king to here maybe do that different yeah, this rook takes bishop takes what am I on about? I've got a rook here this rook takes this rook takes, I'm on his queen I'm pushing the pawn he's gone, it's checkmate oh the oh I thought it was checkmate oh has, has he got space? where's he got space? oh it's because the rook can go in front but then that's checkmate either way oh brilliant oh it was good talking that one through I'm really chuffed with that BANG